This is just another typical day for the men and women of Fire Station 27. Located just off Sunset Boulevard in Hollywood, the station is one of the busiest in the city. And in a typical 24-hour shift, these firefighters can respond to dozens of calls, each of them unique, each of them challenging. Anything you go on in Hollywood is pretty interesting because anything goes in Hollywood for the most part. The city of Los Angeles offers up plenty of variety for its firefighters. The harbor districts call for skilled boat operators and divers. Here, firefighters specialize in wharf and ship fires. In the hills that ring the city, LAFD personnel deal with the realities of brush fires every day. I'm going anywhere. The department's helicopter pilots train for rescue situations, as well as aerial firefighting. And every station downtown deals with the dangers of fighting fire in high rises. Despite all the specialties, Every firefighter, climbing into their turnouts and jumping aboard a rig, began their training the same way. The street crews here over in Lake Hollywood area, uh, I'd like to ride by there, take a look at that, make sure you don't have an access problem. The mentality of, uh, of training on a constant basis is something that we continue to strive for. Uh, what you learn in the drill tower uh, is basically uh, a starter course, <laughs> if you will, uh, and your real training really begins when you get into the field. Here at this station, Fire Station 27, we train every day and we try to split it up as much as possible but obviously majority of our call load, a lot of EMS runs, a lot of medical calls and we go on a lot of structure fires. So we have a probationary firefighter, we work with him every shift and basically train a lot of ladders, a lot of hose lays. If we've trained good we're going to be able to handle the incident well and everybody's going to be safe while we're handling it. They all learn the dangers of firefighting and they all learned the consequences of not being prepared. The LAFD's 120-year history is marked with reminders of those dangers. From heat and smoke inhalation to roof collapses and equipment failures, firefighting in Los Angeles is dangerous. It's why each rookie coming out of the tower is told to train as if his life depends on it. Because it does. The Los Angeles Fire Department dates back to the 1st of February, 1886, when the city started paying 31 former volunteers to be full-time firemen. There were four stations, two steamers, a hose wagon, and 11 horses. Los Angeles was 30 square miles with a population of about 40,000 people. 120 years later, Los Angeles has grown a bit and the LAFD has grown with it. Nearly 3,500 men and women now fight fires in 103 stations throughout the city. They're responsible for the 470 square miles and four million people that make up Los Angeles. The department has suffered its share of growing pains making sure personnel reflect the city's rich ethnic mix of people and cultures has taken years to achieve. New technologies are always weighed against available budget. And then, there's the fires. The LAFD has faced some of the most harrowing emergency calls on record. It's fought natural disasters and plenty of man-made ones and come out on the other end stronger, wiser, more carefully trained, and more appropriately equipped. 
and it maintains a Class 1 ranking, making the LAFD one of the most emulated departments in the country. The history of the Los Angeles Fire Department is celebrated, remembered, and memorialized by the LAFD Historical Society. Founded in 1997, the Society is made up of volunteers whose mission it is to preserve the history of the LAFD, educate the public on fire safety, and memorialize Los Angeles's fallen firefighters. We're reaching out to educate people now about how things are and what will come in the future. Uh, firefighting's got a glorious past, but it's got an even better future. The Historical Society has opened two museums, one at Old Fire Station 27, a Hollywood landmark, and Old Station 36 in downtown San Pedro. The Hollywood Museum is home to the William Rowland Firefighters Educational Institute, named for a retired firefighter and Medal of Valor recipient. Society members have also worked tirelessly to save old fireboat number two, the Ralph J. Scott, now slated for a dry berth on the edge of the harbor she served for 77 years. It has proved to be the perfect vessel for all these 77 years to handle every incident, from the smallest incident to the largest thing that we could have anticipated in those years. But the Historical Society's mission is at risk without continued support and interest from the public and from active members of the LAFD. And a big part of that mission is the LAFD Memorial for Fallen Firefighters. The Historical Society has finalized plans for an ambitious $500,000 construction project just outside the Hollywood Museum. Five bronze statues, already cast with a great attention to detail, will stand in front of an arch engraved with the names of those Los Angeles firefighters who lost their lives in the line of duty. A fountain wall acts as a backdrop, and the entire structure is built on paving stones laid to create a map of the city. As uh, unusual as it may seem, our department was instituted in 1886, 117 years, and we've never had a permanent memorial to our fallen firefighters. Right now we don't have anything physically that we can see every day, but uh, to have something, especially in the center of town in Hollywood next to our museum, I think it's uh, monumental. I, I don't know if all of our firefighter families who've lost a loved one really still feel that connection to the department. That's what this plaza and this memorial is about, is finding those families who have lost loved ones in past decades and making them feel connected still to the department, to whoever's working today. So we want to say very loudly, very clearly to our fallen heroes, your heroic deeds, your lives, are going to be forever cherished by a city that will be eternally grateful for the sacrifice that you've made. I have the memorial right there next to our station. Every time I drive to work to see that, or every time I go on a run, I mean, I would know it makes me feel so, so good inside. As we honor our fallen heroes, let us remember that they embodied the future inscription on the memorial wall at all times, service above self. <laughs>